Welcome to this short explanatory video on the Global Employee Share Purchase Plan, or GESP as it is also known. Once you have enrolled in GESP and have chosen your contribution amount, you have the flexibility to change or suspend your contribution amount at any time during the plan year. You can also withdraw from the plan and have your contributions refunded. How to change your contribution amount? To change your contribution amount, you must first log in to your ComputerShare account on www.computershare.com forward slash employee forward slash shell share awards by entering your global ID and PIN. Once in your account, select the Contributions section under the My Holdings tab. Next, select the current GESP plan year from the Holdings drop-down menu, and then select the Change button next to your monthly contribution entry within the Payment Information section. Agree to the disclaimer and click Next to continue. Then enter the new monthly contribution amount. To do this, enter the amount that you wish to contribute, for example, 500 euros in the amount section. Then click on Next to continue. To complete the process, confirm your new contribution amount, in this example, 500 euros, and enter your PIN and click Submit. Things to remember when changing your contribution amount. Timing for enrolling in GESP. You must make changes by the 15th of the month for your new contribution to be deducted from your next month's pay. How much to contribute. You must decide how much to contribute. However, please ensure that it is within the plan limits and also that it does not exceed your net pay in a given pay period. You can see the plan limits by local currency and country in the country chart document, which is available both from Shell's stock webpage as well as the document section of your computer share account. Ongoing contribution. The contribution amount entered will continue to be deducted from your monthly pay until such time as you either suspend, withdraw, move to a non-participating country, or reach the annual maximum, whichever happens first. Contributing for one month only. To do this, you should enter your contribution amount as normal and then must remember to go back into your account and suspend your contributions in time for the next month's payroll run. How to suspend your contributions. To suspend your contribution amount, you should follow the same process as the one described for changing your contribution amount, but should enter a zero in the amount section instead of a positive amount. To complete the process, confirm your suspension, an entry of zero, and enter your PIN and select Submit. Things to remember when suspending your contribution amount. Timing for your changes. There is a cutoff date of the 15th of the month for you to suspend your contribution and for it not to be deducted from your pay in the following month's payroll run. For example, if you suspend by 15th of April, the contribution will not be deducted from your pay in the May payroll run. Amount entered. You must remember to enter a zero within the amount section and not leave the section blank. Ongoing suspension. Your suspension will continue until such time as you enter a positive contribution amount within your computer share account. You can therefore suspend your contributions for as many months as you wish, as well as from one plan year to another. How to withdraw from the plan. If you are contributing to GESP, you can choose to withdraw from the plan at any time and have your contributions refunded to you. To withdraw from the plan, first log in to your ComputerShare account. Once in your account, select Downloadable Forms under the Company Info tab. 
Next, download the GESP Contribution Refund form from the Global Employee Share Purchase Plan section and fill it in using the instructions on the form. To complete your withdrawal from the plan, send the form to Computershare either by email to shellgesp at computershare.com or by post to the address on the form. Things to remember when withdrawing from the plan. Partial withdrawals are not permitted. Exchange rates and transaction costs. When you request a refund, you bear the risk of any exchange rate fluctuations that may have taken place since making your contributions. Any transaction costs will also be paid by you and deducted from your payment. Rejoining the plan. If you rejoin the plan in any year in which you have already withdrawn, the amount you withdrew will be deducted from the maximum annual plan limit. This video is a summary for information only. It is not an offer or an invitation. Please read the full documentation available at www.stockweb.shell.com forward slash guest.